NATO flexes its naval muscles in warning to Putin. Britain's HMS Prince of Wales has been pictured leading a NATO fleet as the military alliance carries out its largest joint drills in decades, according to the Daily Mail. It is noted that the Royal Navy aircraft carrier led 14 vessels in formation through an exercise in the North Sea as part of the Nordic Response 24 drill set on training the Alliance's ability to reinforce Europe's northern frontiers. The 65,000-ton ship was seen flanked by the American destroyer USS Paul Ignatius and Spain's ESPS Almirante 1 de Bourbon frigate as Swedish and Finnish fighters flew overhead. Operating around the icy fjords of Norway, the carrier strike group will practice defensive maneuvers and amphibious landings to recapture allied territory. Exercise Nordic Response 24 is part of the broader exercise Steadfast Defender 24, the largest NATO exercise since the Cold War, bringing together more than 90,000 troops from all 32 countries to train in unison as war edges ever closer to Europe amid Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization is no longer in hiding. After three decades of military retrenchment, following the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 and the breakup of the Soviet Union two years later, NATO has decided to boost its capabilities in response to Russia's special military operation in Ukraine and the threats made by its president, Vladimir Putin, to countries on Europe's eastern flank. On January the 24th, the Alliance launched Steadfast Defender 24, its largest series of military exercises in Europe since the end of the Cold War. Scheduled to last until May the 31st, these large-scale maneuvers bring together some 90,000 troops from 32 countries and no fewer than 1,100 armoured vehicles, including 166 battle tanks. The exercises are taking place mainly on the plains of Poland and Norway, but also in Germany, the Baltic States, Romania, Finland, Slovakia, Greece and Sweden. Russia fueling U.S. border problems to distort presidential race in U.S. There is little doubt that the main issue in the presidential campaign in the U.S. this year is immigration, according to Forbes. Current discussions on Capitol Hill are focused on persuading House Speaker Mike Johnson to bring the Senate-approved immigration bill to a vote in the White House or on gaining sufficient support for adopting a discharge petition to circumvent his obstruction. It appears that the discharge petition to sidestep the speaker is the more likely option. In the meantime, the presidential campaign is in full swing and Biden and Trump are racing across the country talking about immigration to garner supporters and votes. Given this delicate situation regarding adopting an immigration solution, it is disheartening to learn that, once again, Russia is trying to meddle in the US presidential election by promoting discord over immigration matters. A recent AP article pointed out, in recent weeks, Russian state media and online accounts tied to the Kremlin have spread and amplified misleading and incendiary content about US immigration and border security. The campaign seems crafted to stoke outrage and polarization before the 2024 election for the White House and experts who study Russian disinformation say Americans can expect more to come as Putin looks to weaken support for Ukraine and cut off a vital supply of aid. The article continued, in social media posts, online videos and stories on websites, these accounts misstate the impact of immigration, highlight stories about crimes committed by immigrants and warn of dire consequences if the US doesn't crack down at its border with Mexico. Many are misleading, filled with cherry-picked data or debunked rumors. Polish troops would never leave Ukraine. Russia is technically prepared for nuclear war. Putin. Any attempt to send Polish troops into Ukraine could end in a long-term occupation. Russian President Vladimir Putin has warned in an extensive interview with Russia One TV broadcaster and RIA Novosti. 
if Polish troops enter the territory of Ukraine in order to, as they say, secure the Ukrainian-Belarusian border, for example, or in some other places to free up Ukrainian rear military units to participate in hostilities on the front line, then I think that Polish troops will never leave, Putin said, according to excerpts from the interview. The deployment of NATO troops to Ukraine amid the conflict with Russia is not unthinkable, Polish Foreign Minister Radislav Sikorski claimed last week. He was commenting on a statement by French President Emmanuel Macron, who said late last month that he cannot exclude the possibility of soldiers from the US-led military bloc being sent to aid Kiev. Putin believes that Polish officials dream of returning those lands that they consider historically their own and which were taken from them by Joseph Stalin and transferred to Ukraine. They certainly want them back, so if official Polish units enter there, they are unlikely to leave, he claimed. Putin said that Russia is technically prepared for nuclear war and if the US sends troops to Ukraine, it will be seen as a significant escalation of the war. From a military technical point of view, we are ready, of course, said the 71-year-old Putin in response to a question about whether the country is truly prepared for nuclear war. Putin said that the US understands that if they deploy troops to Ukrainian territory, Russia will consider this a step toward intervention. In the US, there are enough experts in Russian-American relations and in the field of strategic deterrence. So, I don't think everything is rushing headlong here, but we are ready for this, Putin said. Music